The difference between a Karen and a normal person comes down to your reaction when you get caught out for doing something stupid. Do you A, accept that you did said stupid thing and move on with your life, or B, do you go off at the person for calling out your stupidity? If you're choosing column B, then uh, we might see you here on Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things with your Australian host, me, the idiot. Let's get into the clips. Here we have a Papa John's driver in the UK driving a smart car whilst not being so smart by using his phone whilst he's driving and almost riding someone over. But it's okay, it's his wife's birthday, so it's perfectly fine. You're representing a company, you're using your phone while you're driving, you almost I'm run not me using over. using a phone, I'm trying to get to the bottom of the road. It's my wife's birthday, yeah. I've got to pick up a cake of okay. flowers, okay. and they're f blocked off. Okay. So, mate, hey, I'll help you out of it. I'm supposed to be finished don't already. Do anything. Off. Off away from me. No. It's my wife's birthday, right. and that <laughs> road is blocked off. Okay. Right. The sat nav's already sent me down the wrong way to go down there, and I've got to work out how to get there and be home in five minutes. So you, you, want to off? All you. right. Well, why don't you off then, you well, muggy? You're following me. Yeah. I'm and you'll be in a. You'll be in a. God, f off. F who do you think you are, you little millennial prick? You nearly ran over. You, you should watch where you going as well, shouldn't you? Can someone help me, please? Who the f do you think you are? Just going up and in some fearing. I'm just going up to work out where the f I'm going. Look, f off. Stop following me. Please, can you. Stop I mean, this is. I've got it all on camera. He almost ran me over. He's using his. He did not almost run me over, you prick. He I'm did. He was using his phone there. while he's driving. Road works there. I've just told you, it's my wife's birthday. All right. It's my wife's birthday. That means I get to be an asshole to wherever the f I want to. And no one can stop me because it's my wife's birthday. Like, I don't get that. You stupid, nonsensical millennial. It's just like, it's just such an insane reaction. It's like you almost run someone over and they catch you on your phone. And this is your reaction to that. Also, it's so funny. In your haste to go off with this person, you completely forgot to put on your parking brake. It's only a good thing that you noticed it almost immediately <laughs> you could pull it back on but your, your car almost left you would be in the dust because it realised that whilst it's a smart car the man who was driving behind the wheel wasn't so. Here we got a fun one. So what's happened here is that this other person here, the not the one behind the camera, assumes or have seen that the person behind the camera was being a Karen towards the store, asking for the manager for some reason or another, so she decides to get involved. We don't know what happened prior to cause this, but you know, we'll watch this clip here and have a little laugh. Yep. Are you, are you bullying her and harassing me? No, I'm Yes, you are. And I and, and and she gets paid to call one for me. I'm the customer. You get paid to put up with your bullshit. There is no bullshit. I can hear you over here making a ruckus. I heard you as soon as I walked. In well, I have car. the whole. No, you didn't, because I didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't, because no, you didn't. Tell me what I did. You didn't. Are you bullying and harassing you're not me? It looks, harassing it looks like you're. It looks like you. It looks like you're stepping to me. It looks well, like you're stepping yeah, to me. Sure Look, okay, step closer. And. and and what? And what? What are you going to do now? I'm not going to do anything. Okay, I'm, I'm going. I am being. going to ask you I'm to respect. I'm going to ask you to respect my personal space and stuff. I'm going to ask you to respect. Her I'm going to ask. I'm going to. And not as a piece of meat. You are a piece of meat. Now you're going to step back and you're going to get out of my face. Good, good. <laughs> I'm a terrorist. Oh, actually, I am. That's my mother's name. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day, ma'am. Really, only two things would have really happened. Two different stories would have actually happened prior to this clip here. Either A, the person with the trolley was in the right and that the person behind the camera was being a bit of a Karen towards the workers here, was asking for the manager for very silly reasons and other things on those lines. Or B, she could have a genuine reason that the person behind the trolley doesn't make sense of. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say. It's a funky interaction, to say the least. 
With this one here, we have a guy who's upset about the neighbors consistently parking on the street, you basically making it difficult for anyone to get through the road, apparently even blocking it at times. Y you get the story, right? Anyhow, he's going to confront one of his neighbors, and this ultimately ends up as a massive blow up between him and everyone else in the neighborhood. Causing a noise disturbance. Okay. You and can't, you're filming me. If, if, you're filming me yes. just to try to antagonize me. Because you're threatening me. Why don't you get yourself and your dumbass haircut back on your property now it's my hair what's that and it, it's everything about you it's everything so all you do why do cause, you have to be such a self-important piece of shit cause a disturbance why why, why would i cause a disturbance lawn with your truck over there i what you're an idiot i want her lawn you're an idiot i did what to her lawn you're, exactly you're just you're talking an shit you're, an you're just talking idiot. shit go because up, you ain't got nothing better go up there this is public property i can be able to i want Get on your property, no. stop acting like a moron, and no. go the other way. No. These people are having a freaking pool Great. party. It's against the law. Would you like me to show you it's exactly the where? It's against law for you to look that stupid. No, it's not, actually. There's no ordinance for that. Would you like me to show you the ordinance where you're wrong? I'm, I'm telling you right now, get on your property. What are you going to do? Get on your property. What are you going to do? I'm telling you right now. What are you going to do? Get on your property. I'm on public property. You stay on your property. You like to antagonize people? Is that what you do? You're no. You're an antagonist. Is that like when you screamed at me You're at the bottom of the hill? That's what you want. Why don't you take your shitty antique that, that needs to be rewired every year? You step on this property. I'm I have no need to step on your out. property. Why don't you, well, you come that. out here and do it? I'm glad you recorded Why don't you come out here and do it? Step on that step. I will not. Are you inviting me onto your property? Are you inviting me onto your property? You, you, Is that what you just did? You make a choice. Because I'll make. Your yeah, Jeremy, go inside. Listen your to your wife. Uglier. Yeah, Jeremy, go inside. Listen to your wife. I'm, Don't threaten people I'm, randomly. I'm warning you. Of what? What are you going to do? I'm warning you. What are you going to do? Excuse me, we have to look here. I don't care. I don't care. Get out of the road. What are you going to do? No kidding. I mean, you don't even... I don't even... I live right there. I use this road to get home. Get back on your property. No. Park somewhere else. Look how, look, look how, look how stupid... Use your driveways. Go park downtown. You could park downtown and carpool. There are options. You can take and a different road to your house. I don't have to. Simple as that. I don't have to. I don't have to do that this is 10, 1, uh, 10, 9. It's the rule. You're not supposed to park within 200. Huh? You live on this road. I live in this town. I live right there. I live right there. It's three other roads I go there. Sure. Go the other way. It's one day. We're having our granddaughter's birthday party. Congratulations. It's repetitious. It's all the time. I'm not, I'm not rep we don't really? When the uh, the little blue car and the Subaru and yeah, that we car. Here. We, we have four cars that live here. We have two driveways. You should try. Why are they parked in the road then? What are you talking about? I've had the blue car and that car both parked right here across from this and his truck. Well, every now and again, we use, and you notice we park on our property. I do, but you're not supposed to. No, property. you're not supposed to park within 200 feet of the incline of a hill. Sir, you have to understand, we've lived here for 22 years. Great, I've been here for 11. And we do not block this road. You have. Occasionally. I've had to back up because you guys were parked out in the road. Listen, I have had to do it myself. Why don't you just get out of here? Put your phone away. You're not a big shot. It's no. Okay? I mean, this is crazy. We can't even celebrate Public our, drunkenness. A Stay out of the f***ing road and stop being an inconvenience for the rest of your neighbors. Why is that so hard? It's not inconveniencing them, and they're across from us. Because you, you, you guys are all doing the same shit. You couldn't get a fire truck up through here. Yeah, you could. No, you couldn't. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. Look, I get this frustration. Yeah, that actually might be a law in this area, and so be it. You can be be like that, but you're probably better off just uh, going to the police or the count or your local council, that's what we call them here, the municipality, I cannot say that word for the life of me for some reason, and go annoy them to go look into it kind of thing, like for example when we've had one of our neighbours parks a light truck, like a proper truck on the road, it's like hey they're not meant to be doing that, yada yada yada, and that was its own thing, but ultimately 
at least from my experience, this is only going to get worse. Purely because as people stay at home longer, because it's more expensive to get out into the rental market and stuff like that, you're going from like the average house having like one to two cars parked on it to two, three, four five cars parked for a single household because they can't actually get into a rental in any way shape or form and yeah i understand the problem with this heck it's a big problem in the street that i live in like there's cars that are hog around the corner and it's a huge pain in the ass you have to be so careful about that not smashed into them but it's just an unfortunate thing that there's just not enough places to park especially with the amount of people who are now living together because it's too expensive to not do that I feel like there's better ways you could have handled this and if a fire a fire a fire truck came through and wasn't able to get through then they would cop a huge fine for that but ultimately I don't think this is the greatest way to handle it just trying to pull to get them to go after you for that like that's such a weird way of handling this I don't know what are you guys thoughts in the comments below here we at Karen Crazy at Karen Crazy's favorite Walmart being Karen Crazy Crazy I don't know I'm just saying a bunch of random words here's a clip You're either high on drugs or drunk, or maybe a mixture of both of them. Either way, you're flat out bat crap crazy. It's uh, some wild shenanigans going on at this Walmart, with this person absolutely losing her mind. I don't know. <laughs> I don't get people who are like this, especially just taking random crap and throwing it around. Like, obviously, something happened prior to the actual clip itself to lead to whatever, what to what actually happened in the clip. But what that will be, it we'll never know. We'll never know, will we? Here we have a loony neighbor who has uh, come up to their neighbor's doorstep and has decided to do some very uh, questionable things whilst being watched by their ring camera. She got, she got, she got, she got. Oh, is it open? Oh, smart. You know why? Because I don't know your social. You know what that's protected under? The Declaration of Independence. Next time, do your motherfucking research. You stupid ass bitch. You're lucky. That's it. But that shit Hi, we're you know grilling why? and chilling. Please leave us a message. That's why. Is that what you want? Oh, 
guilty in the court of law. If I shall bleed. Oh. <laughs> that's why. You know why? Because that's glass. And you know what's underneath you? <laughs> I'm sorry, what just happened? Did she just come up, smack on the door, open the screen door, just smack a few more times, and then break a window after attempting to break the camera? <laughs> like, genuinely speaking, um, this person must be high or drunk out of their mind or something on those lines because there's no way someone with without an intoxicated mindset would ever do something along these lines, especially the last part where they just casually smash someone's window. Like, like no one with any form of sane mindset would think of doing that because you don't know what's going to happen. At this point, it can be assumed that it, this could be a robbery. The person inside might have a gun and a bullet might be shot. You never know what could happen here. It's like you don't play these type of games, especially in America. Most people People, it's depending on the states you live in, will have a gun of some form, and some people are going to be far more trigger happy to use it than others. And then, thirdly, you you know you're being watched by the ring camera. Like even if they choose to do nothing about you initially, they can just take it to court and get you in trouble because you know you you did it on. Ca you, 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 there's a camera right there, buddy. You you just smashed someone's window and did a whole bunch of threatening in front of a camera. Not the smartest move, bit of a rookie mistake that one. Next we have an argument between a staffer and a customer arguing over things at 7-Eleven. Yes, I'm gonna. Who are you? Mm. Yes, that is are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking I'm a to customer you. here. What are you doing? <laughs> Why? Why are you calling me? Fight that yeah. Hold on. Why are you calling me? You don't think I know my rights? You're insulting me, man? Huh? You're insulting me. Yes, I'm Why are you insulting me? Okay. Why are you cursing with me? I didn't curse. I didn't say Man, anything wrong. Please go out, okay? Why? If you're not go out, I call the cops. Don't right put now. your finger. Don't I put don't your... mind. This is my property. I'm on work. Get What's right your now. What's your name? What's your name? Stupid idiot. What's your name? Stupid idiot. What's your name? Your name is yes, Okay, mother. You understand? You're a mother. mother I post this yeah, and I, post I, it. I, I tell post you. It. Post it. I like it, man. I no, like okay. it. I like it. Post it. Post it. Do what you, you can, man. Do what you, you can. Bloody idiot. Bloody idiot. Bloody idiot. Bloody homeless. Come to 7 Eleven. Go to hell, man. Go to hell. I never had the customer service no, like that. I don't that. give a customer service to a cheap customer. Please go outside. Cheap sir. customer? Yeah, cheap customer. Go How outside. do you know? You cheap, man. Look, you try to steal the banana. banana. Who yeah, stole you, the banana? You steal banana. Are inside. you accusing me? <laughs> Are you accusing Get me? Out, man. Listen, you be nice man. to people. Okay. You don't know me. Okay. You don't okay. know me. your mom. Go ahead now. <laughs> your mom. Go ahead. Okay, which 7 Eleven we at? I'm gonna put the address, I'm gonna post it. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna post it. Fuck you, asshole. You own the place? What's your name? What's your name? I told you, asshole, man. What the f is your name? I don't have time to waste with you. You're a mother, but don't talk about people's mom. Don't insult people, asshole. Yeah. You try to steal my banana. No, man, I'm a citizen of this country before you born. This is not. Your country either, man. This is my country. Yeah, put your hand down. Put your hand down. Everybody can't Don't, can touch, me. Okay, don't okay. touch me. Okay, don't touch me. Everybody can't do that. Don't put your finger down. You racist. Oh. You threaten me? I'm not threatening you. What are you doing there? I'll put you in jail. Hey, you can't do <laughs> shit about this. You know this is a customer service oriented no, no, place. No, no. We no don't one. give a customer service for stealers, okay? I didn't Please. steal, mother. Here. You put the banana. Wait, I was put it here to buy it. After that, after I curse in you, then you put the banana on my table, okay? But it was the homeless. Oh, I was trying to give okay. him a coffee. Yeah, the cheap, cheap. 
Come on, mate. Why'd you have to take the racist route out of all this? Why'd you have to go on about how, oh, I've been a citizen sh here for X time longer than you because you weren't born here? Because point out the fact that he's Indian by basically claiming that, oh, yeah, I was a citizen here before you, before I was born, you weren't, blah, blah. Like, well, what was the point of that? What was the point of that at all? Like, come on. If you wanted to have any form, like, beforehand, I was just sitting here just subtly confused on what to really think about it. I think both sides were just a bit uh, in the wrong here. Clearly, the worker triggered some thing inside of the customer. The customer wasn't happy. The customer may have tried to steal the banana. Who damn knows at this point? We have nothing, no knowledge about what happened beforehand, aside from a he say, she say type deal here. But why do you have to pull something racist in the middle of all this? Like, why? Come on. In this next clip, we seem to have a Karen who's extremely unhappy with the food they order and therefore are requesting their money back, in probably by far the worst way possible. This clip leaves me with uh, several questions, mainly because I just wonder why is she wanting her money in the back, back in the first place? Was there something wrong with her food? Was there maybe some hair or the she got the wrong order? Like she asked for, let's say, something to be taken out of a burger and that tomato or that onion or whatever it is was actually put into the burger or the order was done slightly wrong. Whatever the reason is, I'm honestly curious on why the people at the registers just didn't give the money back or give another option sooner. I, I don't know the reality of what happened here, but this this person was extremely unhappy and just kept demanding for their money back and when they weren't getting it back they decide to uh, up the levels to make sure that uh, they're probably not going to get their money back by just taking something random on the desk there and just throw it off to the side and of course they do it again a little later which is just a question of, like, if you really want your money back why are you destroying property of this retail of this fast food restaurant what's the point in doing that it only makes it that you're probably going to have to pay something in the future especially if they decide to press charges or you get caught up by the law for this type of thing. I don't know. And also, what's with the childish thing just repeating the same thing over and over and over again, expecting to get different results? Next, we have a guy who decided to shut down a hotel pool over the fact that he didn't like the people who were there and decided just to be a bit racist over it. There's nothing else for us to talk about. I want my money back. So start the paperwork and give me my Hey, locking up the pool because we're not, that's crazy. Y'all need. Okay, tell your other customers there's room. He said 10 customers in the pool. It was only five kids in the pool. Weird. Yeah. The no, you or see me. Come on. Where are your shoes, Addie? Come on, come on. Oh, okay, come on. 
No, don't okay. sorry now. Okay. What you should have okay. done okay. was okay. stood up for okay. your company. You know, I'm so sorry. That's okay. I'm trying to say sorry. I, I just I just didn't think I was going to have to see this. I just Your didn't, manager. I didn't think I had to see this. Don't tell nobody to shut up. Don't tell us what to do. Call the police like you said for no reason. Goodbye. 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 Y'all not racist. He went and said that he was going to leave if we kept staying here. I sat there and heard him. How do you know that? He shouldn't, have, he shouldn't have been telling y'all nothing. That's what I'm saying. We he shouldn't have been telling y'all nothing. I, mean, I paid for rooms. I paid for rooms. I didn't say you didn't. That's what I'm saying. But I paid, paid for rooms. Him. He, he had no right. He sure shouldn't have. I didn't he pay said for he was calling rooms. police on us, so we waiting on it. You're waiting on what? He, he said he was calling the police. He said he was calling the law. Oh my God, there's a whole family in the pool. It must mean they don't have a hotel here. They're person of color. They're black. They, 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 they. I don't get it. Why, why do people have to be like this? Like, what's the point of this? It's so stupid to say the least. Like, I, I don't really have a word for just my thoughts on just why people do this. It's so just dumb. We're all human beings at the end of the day. Like, why? Here we have an angry old Karen in the Walmart who uh, does not like a certain person, so she decides to be a complete and utter ass towards her. You need to get out of my face. Shut up. Shut up. Why am I a bitch? Took my shirt? Because you're mad about it? I've never known about your shirt. Oh, yeah, you did such ugly outfit. I know what you're talking about. I never said ugly outfit. I called you ugly. You said rude outfit. That's what you said. You don't call me. Don't call me. Shut up. I'll take you outside. Shut up. What are you gonna do? I'll take you outside and beat the crap out of you. Oh, really? Shut up. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'll you call me your grandma. I'll put your little butt down there and mash. You just not. Get out of my face. You get out of my face. Don't touch me. Back up. Don't touch me. You don't tell me to back up. Get out of my face. Shut up. You shut your mouth. Alright. Are you going to get it smashed? You think I'm scared of you? It's okay. You think I'm scared of you? Back up. You shut up. Come on. She's you ain't got no respect for nobody. I don't care. I don't have to respect you. Look at how you're talking to me. You don't deserve any respect. Man, you don't respect anybody. Uh, shut the f ma'am. You, you clearly don't respect her either. And it's like, oh, but she treated me horribly first. Isn't the saying go, treat people how you would like to be treated? Isn't that what this is? If you want to be respected by someone, then you should give them the bare minimum of respect as well. Isn't that how this goes? It's a two-way street, bro. You gotta walk. You gotta walk the way for people to walk it with you. It's a two-way street. There isn't just like people have to respect you just because you're older, and then you don't have to give a crap back. No, 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 no. If you want to respect, you've got to give it. And they're threatening to assault someone because they're not exactly uh, submitting to what you're saying is just worse. Like, are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Maybe all the above. Here we have a guy who's walking through Times Square in New York. You know that place where there's a lot of tourist trap scams that are hanging around, waiting for you to do something with them so they can attempt to get you, but get some money out of you. And here we watch as one of those incidents happen and see how this person handles it coolly to get out of it. My album, all original. I'm a, I do reggae and hip hop. Where you from? Oh. Uh, Where you from? Sorry, I'm not interested. What's your name, sir? I'm Ken. I'm gonna give you a big autograph, Ken. All right, sure. To Ken, that's my autograph right there, Ken. Thank okay. you, Ken. We Thank don't you sell so it, much. Ken. We just ask for a donation for the record, Ken. Thank okay. you. Uh, it doesn't matter what you have, Ken. I'm sorry. No, no, I autographed it already. I give you change, whatever you need, bro. Thank you. I don't want it. I'm fine. Ken, I need Thanks. something for the album. I'm all right. Thanks, man. Small tip. My guys is around. I mean, I didn't want it. Ken, you got to come here and you got to give me a tip. tip, sir, tip, tip. Yes. This is, my, it, this is my, tip, my band. Sir. Sir, Thank you, Ken. A tip, uh, sir. All right, I'm fine. Ken, Thanks. Ken, pick that up, Ken. No, 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 you uh, have to pick that shit up, buddy. Want, I don't want, I'm sorry. 
I mean, if you're just in any form of area that is known to have a high level of tourists, you should just never accept free items that people randomly give you on the street because you never know what's going to happen next. Like, especially, like, there's people who walk around in costumes in Times Square who try to have, take photos with random people, and then once you take a photo with them, they then start hassling you for money for taking said photo. And then we have things like this, where some guy's trying to sell some form of album. I'm assuming that on that disc is probably nothing. Like, I don't think this is them genuinely trying to make it as an artist. This is just them trying to find a way to make money via this side hustle in Times Square. Or maybe there is an actual album on there of garbage quality. Who knows? Here we have a Karen who's getting her Corvette towed away. You know what she does? We'll attempt to stop that from happening. Scream at the top of her lungs for several minutes for no reason, really. Why are you screaming? Congratulations, I think you achieved something there. Nope, actually, no, the car's still being towed away. Well, that's a damn shame. <laughs> it seems you've accomplished absolutely nothing aside from make an absolute fool of yourself more so than what your car being towed away would have done already. 